Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March boxy looks unboxing. I've had this sitting here for like two weeks and I just haven't had the chance to film it. I've been dealing with a lot, like, and I hope you're all staying safe. Like, I don't want to talk too much about it because I want my videos to be a distraction from everything that's crazy in the world. But yeah, I just can't wait to see what's inside of here. I have taken a peek. It sounds like crazy. I took out the paper that was in there. I've taken a peek just to know what I can and cannot put on my face. Um, before I start the video so I don't waste a lot of time doing things during the video So I do kind of know what's in here and yeah I'm just excited to show you all and try everything on for you guys So before I get into this video I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell So you're notified every single time I upload a new video join my fam You know you want to and yeah, let's get into this unboxing So I'm gonna start with the one thing that I cannot use in this try on and that is this PMD smart facial cleansing device I am so excited to try this out. I love the color of it first of all like this is one of my favorite colors of all time and this actually I don't know why a lot of people are complaining about not getting the little pamphlet that comes inside the boxes because I've been getting them but this runs for $99 right there that's worth more than what you paid for the box and yeah I'm so excited to try this out I'm probably gonna try this out tonight so what it is is a facial scrubber it helps you remove your makeup and it helps you get really deep down into your pores I have a little stand in there and everything there's a battery so it's battery operated if there's no cord there's no like you don't have to charge it it's a battery which is kind of cool it claims to be anti-aging customizable for all skin types so super excited to try this i will let you guys know how i feel about it in a future video but i'm not really gonna try this in this video but let's move on to something that i can try i gotta fix my hair and i knew that this was gonna be in here so i didn't do my hair today yet. i'm really excited to try this out this is the sutra mini ceramic curling iron and this is perfect for travel is what it claims to be let's see how much this one runs for the sutra beauty mini ceramic curling iron is 50 dollars. it is a ceramic curling iron Iron. It's compact and has a max temperature of 370. Create gorgeous curls with ease. Keep hair healthy with even heat distribution and adjustable temperature controls. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out because I really have to do my hair. It looks disgusting, even though it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still gonna do it. Curls tend to look better on me on dirtier hair, like not dirty hair, but like, you know, fourth day hair. Second, third, and fourth day hair would be good. I can't curl my hair right away, right after I wash it. It just does not work out. This is what the iron looks like oh it's so small <laughs> it really is travel friendly i do have a curling iron that i love and i've been using bubble wands lately and those like give me the curls that i want and i've also been trying to learn how to use a flat iron to curl my hair still can't get it perfectly but um, that's the ideal situation for me to try to be able to curl my hair with a flat iron but you know what i'm still gonna try this out anyway and see how it goes it's so small it's perfect for my hair though because if you think about it my hair is pretty short to be honest i don't really see uh, an adjustable control like to adjust the temperature so i'm confused as to what makes it adjustable before i try the the curling wand i do want to talk about one more thing that comes in here that i'm kind of like really why are you sending this to me boxy charm but we have these what is this called Invisibobble, the original traceless hair ring for $8 and it comes with one, two, three, three traceless hair bobbles or hair ties. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. I have a lot of hair. It's short, but I have a lot of hair. Like, look at this, look at this hair. So this is what they look like. So let's try this real quick. Yeah, this is, I'm not a fan of, of this being in a boxy look. I feel like boxy looks should be Let's, let's try to do it on a ponytail. I'm not gonna make it perfect, but it doesn't feel like it's tugging my hair though So that's good, but I'm just like confused. I don't I don't like it Like I don't like that. It was in boxy boxy lux. if it was in the base box Okay, sure because it's the cheapest box but boxy lux is like a whole other extra amount of money that like I, don't, I feel like that shouldn't <laughs> Be included in there, but okay Oh, when you take it off, it does kind of hurt. I would definitely wear these. I don't see how they're invisible because I still see it. I mean, in the sense that they're clear, sure, but not that they're entirely invisible. I'm not sure about this. Kind of not happy that I was in the boxy looks, like I said, but whatever. We're going to move on. But I'm going to section off my hair the way I normally do. I'm going to show you how I do that now. So I usually just separate my hair the way my part is first. And I tie that half away. And then I separate these into a few sections as well so this is what i do to curl my hair all the time and i'm gonna just take like a piece like this oh my gosh i've never used a curling wand so little so i'm gonna leave it for like 10 seconds 
It doesn't feel too hot. My my curling wand that I use goes up to like 420 or something. My hair just does not hold a curl like ever. So let's see how this goes. I can't figure out a way to adjust the temperature though. It really does not feel hot enough. But I made a cute curl. That is cute. This is cute. Okay, I can see myself traveling with this. My curling one has a bunch of attachments that you can interchange. And I, that's what I love about it. And I usually take like all of the attachments when I travel. So this is going to be a little bit more convenient if I like the curls off of this one. So I don't have to like, you know, take that big old curling wand everywhere. And I'm taking too big of a section. Let's see if it works. To be honest, I get really impatient when I curl my hair. Like I want to do it faster. So I start taking bigger sections and I start looking like crap. But it does feel like it's getting hotter now. I don't know. How do you adjust the temperature though? It really does not say. Wow, I feel like I'm curling them much faster than I normally do though. Oh, there's a warranty. That's kind of cool. I like to cool the curl on in my hand before I let it go. Cause I feel like that's the way they last the longest. My rainbow baby lights are fading when I get them redone. Oh, and I always leave a bunch of hair out cause I like the ends to be flat. I don't like curly curly cues. That's just me. I wonder if I should be taking smaller sections. Again, I get just so impatient. Like I want it to get done. I, I don't see how this would work for, for somebody with really long hair. Like there's no way. My hair, the way I had it like a year and a half ago would not have been able to take this at all. My hair was way too long. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my head off camera because otherwise I'm gonna be here for like a year and I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts on this. So I'm done doing my hair and I have a few thoughts and the first thing is, I don't know what I did over here but these curls are much tighter. Obviously the thinner the piece of hair, the tighter the curl will be. I feel like some of the curls over here are already falling off. I do need to buy hairspray. I don't have any hairspray. I like the way this side turned out. They look a lot more like beachy waves over here. I don't know what I did. Probably separated them into too many layers. I'm trying to brush it out. I definitely want to keep playing around with this um, curling wand because I like the way these turned out. I always have a hard time on my right side because doing it with my left hand, it's like, I don't know, it trips me up. I'll definitely keep playing with it and see if I do like it. Right now, I'm just like, eh, about it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I want to put my hair in like a half up, half down situation because I just really don't like the way it turned out in the front. Mm, it looks better like this, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm not wearing any jewelry today either. I'm like a hot mess. But anyway, let's move on. Let's see what else is in the box. So next up we have these two creams from Sol de Janeiro and they are the Brazilian Bum Cream and the Coco Cabana Cream Duo. These retail for $15 total for both of them. But I have to say I got this as a birthday gift from Sephora, like this exact duo, this exact size, and it was free whatever this is my favorite cream of all time I cannot wait to buy the perfume that they just came out with with the same scent I love this for traveling like this is a perfect size not that I'm doing much traveling anyway but whatever and this one I like it too but I don't like it as much as the bum cream but this is so hydrating this one smells good too. It, they're perfect summer scents, both of them. I'm so excited. I just can't get enough of the Bum Bum Cream. It's so, so good. So I highly recommend these if you haven't checked them out. They're very, very good. And I'm just happy to get them in my boxy looks. But I feel like, I don't know. Like at least the, the full size would have been a little bit better. They have a full size and then they have like a giant size. I currently have this giant size of the Bum Bum Cream. I'm almost done with it to be honest. And when I'm done with it, I'm gonna order like the same size because it's so good. But I'm glad to have... A little travel one for when I do end up traveling at some point in my life again. Next up, we have the BoxyCharm exclusive palette. So this is like the BoxyCharm brand. It's called the BoxyCharm Hello Charmers palette and it retails for $39. So this has a blend of 12 matte and shimmery shades made specifically with our charmers in mind. These are highly pigmented colors, deliver maximum payoff while providing smooth texture for transitional day to night looks. So this is what the palette looks like. It is really pretty packaging. It's super sleek, perfect for storage. Honestly, I'm dying to see what the formula is like. Oh my God, I see a shade that I wanna use. I just freaked out a little bit, wow. I definitely wanna swatch them all just to see how they perform while swatching. all the way down to my elbow but these are these swatches so the only shade that's like really interesting to me well it was difficult to swatch because of this is swipe up which is this pink one which is the one that i wanted to use all over my lid but i don't think it's gonna be a good lid shade i think it's like a very like it's a pressed glitter to be honest like oh my god but look at that iridescence it is so freaking pretty i somehow want to incorporate that into this look 
I'll be honest with you, there are two different shades that have like twin shades, if that makes sense. So if you look at the palette up close, like let me show you. I definitely think exclusive, this one, and this shade right here, sneak peek, are very, very similar as well as premium and spoiler. Like I wish they would have made them a little bit more contrasting, if that makes sense. But the swatches were really nice. The mattes were buttery and the shimmers were buttery as well. Definitely the shimmers were a little bit more buttery than the mattes, but either way, they were really, really pretty. To be honest, I might just do a really simple look. So I'm gonna start with spoiler. And that's gonna be my transition shade. There's quite a lot of fallout with this shade. It's blending out super nicely. I like the way it looks in the crease. I think it's a really nice transition shade. And now I'm gonna take the shade Cup of Joe, which is just gonna deepen the outer corner and crease area. Again, a lot of fallout with the mattes, but I really like the formula so far. I think it's really good for the price. And it's kind of cool that we get an exclusive palette in BoxyCharm. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more of spoiler and just blend the two together. I usually reverse the order of what I'm doing. Like I'd start with a darker shade, but since I'm doing a really simple look today, like I don't even think I'm gonna do lashes. That's how simple I wanna keep it. I just, I started with the transition shade. So that's a tip, if you really wanna build up color, I would start with the darker color first, pack it on, and then blend it out with the lighter shade. I'm thinking about doing a entire video like on beginner eyeshadow tips. Let me know if that's something you wanna see because I can definitely make that happen. Yep, definitely has a lot of fallout, but it's okay. For the lid, I'm gonna take the shade Sneak Peek and I'm just gonna take it on my finger and see how that performs. Ooh, it's such a pretty shade, look at that. I'm gonna ju just take a little bit more of Cup of Joe. I really think the names of this palette too, it's so funny. Like they go with the Boxy Charm aesthetic. There's Boxy Charmer, Full Size Exclusive, Spoiler Luxe, Unboxing, Sneak Peek Premium, Swipe Up, Pop Up, and Cup of Joe. It's so cute. All right, now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Unboxing, which is more of the reddish shade. I just wanna do something a little bit more contrasting. Other than they're like not being like a deeper brown shade that I would like, I really do like the formula of this palette. I like the shades in this palette. I definitely want to test out more of the shades in the coming days. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner and brow bone with Pop Up, which is this champagne color. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love it. All right, so that's it for this palette. I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara. I'm just not going to put on lashes today. I'm just like not in the mood. This is going to be like a nice everyday look situation this is the benefit bad girl bang my favorite mascara i still have some lash glue left from a look that i did earlier today oh my gosh next up we have the appeal cosmetics gel liner this is a multi-use like you use it on your eyes or your lips and i'm gonna go ahead and use it on the eyes today because i do have a different lip shade that came in my box and i kind of already took a peek so i'm just gonna use this in my waterline and because it's a gel liner it's gonna be very hard to show up in the waterline but actually wow and it matches pretty well with my lower lash line so i'm actually really liking that all right next up we have the elizabeth mott show me your cheeks blush this is in the shade soft pink oh right up my alley i love a soft pink this is the packaging it's super pretty and this runs for 23 dollars oh the appeal gel liner runs for 21 dollars. by the way that's quite an expensive liner not gonna lie this is what it looks like let me swatch it first it kind of has a little bit of a sheen to it it's not very pigmented, which is fine. I don't like my blushes to be too pigmented because sometimes you can go overboard. I love the shade. It's a very nice everyday shade. I'm a blush fanatic, so I'm very excited to add another blush to my collection. I love blush. I don't know why, but I do. Do you know what? To tie in everything together, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade pop up as a highlighter, like a cheek highlighter. But before I do, let me just spray some setting spray on my face. Ooh, I like it. It's subtle, but you can build it up for sure. Oh, I like it. I think it's a really pretty highlighter shade. And the last thing in the box is this NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Warm Leatherette. And this is $25. I love NARS lip products. I think they're fantastic. So I can't wait to see. I don't think I've tried this exact formula. I can't wait to see if I like it. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is so luxe it's like so sturdy this is a perfect summer shade oh i'm obsessed it's really really thin oh my god this is the perfect spring and summer shade though oh my gosh it feels super comfortable on the lips it hasn't dried down yet so i don't know 
and I wonder how long it'll last, but I am so excited to use this for spring and summer. I think BoxyCharm did a great job in sending us products, lip products this month that will be perfect for spring and summer. Like I am all for this. And yeah, that's everything in my box. Let's go ahead and add up to see what the total was. So the total value of this box was $280, which is quite a bit. I'm not exactly happy about the hair ties or the curling wand, I'm not sure about. Like it's kind of like iffy for me still. The curls are kind of dying, but it might be nice for travel. So I don't know. Overall, I'm like, eh, how about this box? It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I also don't hate it. Like I hated it last month's like base box there was no boxy looks but february's base box was horrible i'm really excited about the nars lippy and the pmd thing that's pretty cool i like to add blushes to my collection i love these creams again i kind of wish they were full size though but i really hope you enjoyed this video like i hope you enjoyed this pretty nice every day every day i look with this lip i wouldn't wear this every day but i really love this lip and i'm like super happy with it and yeah let me know what you got in your boxy looks do you get boxy looks let's have a conversation in the comments and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up i hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video bye